Hello, this is Krista. Welcome back to the Krista Chronicles, and welcome to my cottage witch extravaganza. <laughs> so since I, if, well, I guess I should start with, if you didn't see my community post, um, all of the cottage witch expansions are now available on make playing cards. So if you're interested in that, there is a link in my community tab, and I'll be sure to make sure it's in my link tree. I think it is, but I will check that. Um, yeah, and the base deck I still have copies of to sell, so those you can find in my Etsy shop. Anywho, since I just made these available and put up some shorts with complete flip-throughs of all of these, I thought it'd be fun, and I'm kind of due for it anyway, to show how I kind of build my own deck and sort of how having all of these cards works for me because for me it's too many too many cards to be using all at once because I can't really shuffle it, handle it, things of that sort. And so but my vision behind my use of it was never to use all of these cards at once anyway. If that works for you, I think that's amazing and so fun, but for me, my reasoning behind the expansions was to make it so that I can shift this deck around seasonally or just, you know, I was going to say emotionally, but like whatever the vibe is. <laughs> so where do I even want to start? I think we should start with the base deck. So let's move out. How do I want to do this? So many guards. Okay. Let's just scooch these over here. And what do I want to keep? We've got Bear with Hibernate. <sighs> Some of these I'm like, it's tricky because to me, like, I mean, bears are kind of an all year thing, but with that keyword Hibernate, I'm gonna have a maybe pile. Turtles, yes. Bees, yes. Yes. Basil, thyme, blue, yeah, we'll keep blue jay, bats. So I like to take out or use the cards for whatever it is I can be like utilizing or seeing in the current season where I live. So some of them kind of just stay in all the time, like kitchen just stays in all the time. The woodpeckers are out. This one stays in all the time. Even some of the things that like, if I'm not actively growing it, um, it's okay. Pumpkin. Am I there yet? Ah, that's a maybe. Poison Ivy's coming out to play. Fury, I love that. Crow. Toad, I haven't seen any yet, but we're gonna, I just bought a rosemary plant. The hawks are out, the moths are out. We'll keep stag, mint, box, yes, mushroom, yeah. Butterfly, yes. Milkweed. Actually, yes, I did see some today. Lilies. I think so. Pine. Psh, I've got such a big pine log in my yard now. We'll keep that. That, that. Holly. Um, no. Yeah, I like that. A lot of the times the base pack for me um, is it's filled with a lot of cards that I'll keep out year round. Coon. Which makes sense because that's kind of how I, I mean it's hard to say because you know obviously I created these at different times but when I was picking out the original 54 cards not knowing yet that there would be expansions, I wanted to stick with things that felt usable year-round. So sometimes there are certain things I will take out, um, especially like in the winter time, but spring and summer, a lot of this tends to stay. Are we just gonna... Oats. Do I want the oats? Ah. I don't know why. 
I think it's because... <laughs> Okay, this is so dumb, but like I made this deck at a time when I was eating oats every day for breakfast and I don't anymore <laughs> It's literally all it is That's a, we're gonna do maybe um, I don't think I want two familiar cards right now. So that's gonna be a no as cute as you are Junkos am I still seeing them? I think they are just migrating now So I think we are going to take that out um, I don't think I want coffee anymore Cinnamon. See, this is an interesting one because now that there, this felt like a year-round one to me at first, but now that there are expansions, cinnamon is not really something I use this time of year. So I think we're gonna take that out and we're gonna take snow out. Okay, perfect. So that's what we got so far. Only took out a few. Let's move on to the. What do I want to do first? Let's do the winter Yule one because probably none of this is really gonna stay. Gloves, no. Cranberry, no. Hearth? Ooh. I don't know, that's a maybe. Jam. We're gonna put that in maybe. Hot chocolate, no. Jack Frost, no. Christmas tree, no. No, 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 no. Um, okay, then no. Ooh, let's keep garlic and let's keep pomegranate. Okay, now let's do the general expansion of pack, which was the first one to come out. So we're, yeah, we're gonna keep vulture. Yeah, we're gonna keep turkey and tea, stream, storybook, yeah, squash. I actually haven't planted squash yet, so let's leave that out just for now. Spiderwort is not out yet. Pokeweed, I think is just starting to come out and I can't decide, oh my gosh, this is my dilemma this year. Cause this is a really odd plant that grows. I cannot decide. if I'm gonna keep it around this year. Maybe I should just move it. I'm attempting to move my milkweed as well as it pops up, just to kind of like control it a little bit. I'm gonna, we're gonna keep it in there. Pansy, yes. Lemon balm is, I don't think that's up yet. Irises are up. I haven't, it's not hummingbird season yet, so we're gonna say no. House finch, yes. Hickory. Yes. Heron. Yes. Goose. Yes. The ferns are out. Clove. Ugh. See, this is tough because it's showing the... I don't really know where... I just kind of... This was the picture I could find. But clove is another one where it's like I use... I don't really use it this time of year. Hmm. I think we're gonna leave that out for now. Chocolate. That's a maybe. I don't know why, but it's a maybe. Chickens, yes. Chamomile, yes. Catnip. We're gonna say yes. I'm actually, I don't, do I grow this though? No, I don't think I grow this. I don't know that I will. Stevie's not like super into it. So, I don't know. But for now, bones, yes. Bobcat, yes. Bluebells, yeah. Bergamot. See, this is, I don't, I don't know. I, think it, I, th I don't know why. This is going to be a no. Barn swallow, yes. Okay, so. I should get, keep my no pile together. Now, before we move on to the last few, I do have, now, 
with two of like the kind of big pre-orders I did where it was like I was debuting <laughs> something I actually did a special card so for anyone who pre-ordered in those rounds um, they got like a special bonus card which I thought was fun so with the in the garden it was nasturtium and with the I don't remember when I'm not sure, but Morning Dove was another one I did. So I'm going to, Nasturtiums are not out yet, so that's going to be a no. Morning Dove is a yes. I love that card. I really like how it came out. Okay, last but not least, we've got the In the Garden. So Wild Ginger is just coming up. So is Echinacea. Tomato, we're going to wait a bit on that because that's a real like summer, you know what I mean? Salamander we're gonna wait on to. Chives are out. Rhododendron is out. Apple is a maybe. Lilacs, yes. Dragonfly, we're gonna wait. Raspberry, we're gonna wait. Strawberry is a yes. Poppy, yes. Coreopsis, yes. Violets, yes. Earthworm, Snail, we'll keep in there. Magnolia, Daffodil, definitely. Marigolds, not yet. Sunflowers, not yet. Dandelion, yes. Morning Glory, not yet. Yeah. Hydrangea, yes. Gnome, obviously. Duck, yes. Rose, yes. Blackbird, yes. Okay, so this is a hefty size deck right here. So let's for good measure, go through our maybes, but I have a feeling maybe I should just keep these out for now. What do you think? Yeah, okay. So I hope that was, I don't know, <laughs> I just thought that might be like fun to see that process. So this is gonna be my working deck for right now. And these, in the meantime, I just have one of these regular organza bags. I just put the extra cards in here and put them. My altar is like a cabinet with a drawer, so I put these in there until it feels like it's time to do this again. But that is all I have for you today. So other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, and I'll see you again very soon.